Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your new shot. And, you know, I was um, perusing the headlines, and uh, I came up with this article from IntelliHub that, to be quite honest with you, I'm surprised I didn't think of this sooner, but man, after kind of reading through this, it makes a lot more sense as far as what happened in Hawaii with regards to this false alarm of a missile inbound and the fact that they just very quickly, A, took the blame for it and swept it under the rug as fast as they could because there's a claim out there that a Hawaii charter boat group actually witnessed an explosion in the sky on the morning of the false missile alert. So... You know, could this be uh, an instance of they're trying to maybe keep something quiet? Or perhaps there was a missile test that went awry. Let's see what it has to say. Says a man posted a video to YouTube in which he claims his sister, who lives in Maui, heard that a group of nine tour boat guides and about 13 tourists witnessed some type of explosion in the sky about 100 nautical miles offshore on the leeward side of the island. Uh, Quote, they said it looked like a meteor, and then all of a sudden it was a big boom and it lit up the entire sky. It was about 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, And he posits that maybe this wasn't a drill after all. He said, I would like to think that the United States wouldn't want to cause more panic if they did launch something in Hawaii. They would say it was a mistake. The man also maintains that the story was posted by a local news outlet for a short period of time before being pulled altogether. I hate when people say that kind of stuff because especially in the age of the Internet, if that's the case, then somebody has it somewhere and it's out there. And the fact that it's not eh, probably leads to the fact that it it wasn't. But. A uh, YouTuber, Ashley LP, chimed in and said this, quote, So I live on an island and our family has a lighthouse. We all saw a bright flash that, that morning as well. There's much buzz about this. Uh, but thank you for actually putting what islanders are all talking about. So that was a comment in that video. Now, the video was posted one day after the false missile alert caused a panic throughout the islands. But... Wouldn't be the first time that the government lied to us about, um, say, a chain of events that took place that caused uh, panic, death, you name it. Our government has, as a matter of fact, basically any time this kind of stuff happens, they always lie to us. Every time. I would wager to say there isn't one time where we were actually told the truth. You know, I can go back in history, look at... Pearl Harbor. Did Pearl Harbor happen the way they say it did? No. History now shows that President Roosevelt knew well in advance of a planned attack on Pearl Harbor and chose to turn the other cheek to garner support from Americans who were war weary after going through World War I and the massive death and then the problems that spawned afterwards with the rise of the bonus army uh, during the Great Depression. Soldiers in World War I were promised a bonus that would be paid, I think it was like 20 years after it ended. And then, of course, the Great Depression hits, people lose their jobs, and these uh, soldiers wanted their money. And they wanted it fronted to them. And it caused a, a major protest with a shanty town being erected on the National Mall that then General Douglas MacArthur goes in and kicks out the bonus army by force using the army, the, the active duty army. And it was, uh, it was a really bad chain of events. So the war-weary Americans didn't want to go to war in World War II, just like they didn't want to go to war in World War I. And so to garner that support, Roosevelt allowed the United States to be attacked so that we then had something to go on and enter the war with, right? So false flag attack enters there. Vietnam, Gulf of Tonkin incident was the incident that led us to mobilizing 
the majority of the troops that went over there and basically made Vietnam what we remember it to be, you know, which was a major conflict. Before that, it was just sending advisors like they always do. First, we get involved where we're not supposed to. So we send advisors in to go and help out just like we grew ISIS. Same difference here. Then they make up the Gulf of Tonkin incident that catapults us into war in Vietnam. And then we find out later, oh, it never happened. 9-11 didn't happen the way they said it did. Wasn't told the truth. To this day, have not been told the truth. But it caused and spawned the war on terror, or I should say the war against the enemy with no face and no land. Basically, a free ticket to terrorize anybody, anywhere on the planet. They were able to do that. All of these false flag attacks. Now you have Hawaii, where a gentleman goes and false alarm for over 30 minutes, right? Now, if you press the button and you figure out it's a mistake, you're going to correct it right away. But if you think it's real, and then you, over time, figure out that it's a mistake, or you're told otherwise that you need to cancel it and we'll handle it, that seems to be more along the lines of what we saw, especially now that you have you know, more than one witness that's corroborated this idea of a, you know, some sort of explosion offshore of Hawaii the exact same time this missile warning went off. And then, of course, the guy is reassigned somewhere else. They won't give the man's identity, and he won't speak up. Why? Because if he tells the truth, well, that's going to put an entirely new twist on things. Now, you would think that if it was a North Korean missile or something like that, that they would want to publicize it, seeing as how the Trump administration administration seems so hell-bent on pushing this guy's buttons to bring about a war-type situation, which I hope doesn't happen. But if it wasn't, and say it was maybe a mishap of our own, maybe it was a missile test, U.S. Navy conducting a missile test, it goes awry, or the guy maybe misinterpreted it as an incoming enemy missile, seems to be more plausible. But, again, we're not being told the truth. And this is why distrust in government, distrust in the mainstream media is so high, is because they don't tell us the truth. And look at folks, people aren't dumb. OK, most people know when they've been lied to or sold a bill of goods. And I believe in this case we have been. And I wish that our government would do what it's supposed to do and treat the owners of the corporation, the stakeholders, that's us, with the respect and dignity we deserve. And if there was a mishap, say it was a misinterpreted missile launch and let's let's find out about that let's let's put it all on the table a so it doesn't happen again and b to put at rest any feelings of angst that might be there associated with north korea because i got to tell you i don't think kim jong un is going to go and launch a missile at hawaii i just don't the guy is a western puppet born in North Korea, but raised overseas in Europe and in Switzerland in private boarding schools, Western private boarding schools. He has the Western ideology and mindset already in there. You don't know what else he was taught. You don't know if he's a puppet of, uh, you know, the CIA. You don't know if this is just some sort of puppet government to, you know, do the bidding of the West. I know that they say, well, North Korea's, you know, a friend of China, a friend of Russia, yada, yada, yada. Okay. 
But is that really the truth? Time will tell, my friends. Time will tell. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Hashtag wake the flock up. Have a great day, everybody.